Let's talk about while we're on, while we were on tech, you don't own, if I'm uh, not wrong in the Magellan Global Fund, you don't own all the fangs, do you? And which ones don't you own and why? No, we, 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 we don't at the moment. We don't own Apple at the moment, but we, we only sold that recently and that was purely on valuation grounds. We actually, you know, we, we, we like to be very disciplined at Magellan. We think it had got ahead of our view of, of, of value. It's a wonderful company. Um, you know, we bought it at less than $100 a share when it was out of favour. Um, we made a lot of money and it just got beyond our, our valuation. Uh, rightly or wrongly, we haven't owned Amazon ever. Um, it is one of the best businesses in the world. The AWS business, their cloud business is extraordinary. Their e-commerce business is deepening their economic mode and competitive advantages. Uh, but really, it was a valuation. that we, we, we struggled to actually understand the valuation of the of the of the business it wasn't about the business or the business quality but unless we have a very firm view around there's a margin of safety in the values there we won't buy notwithstanding we actually would probably put it in the top five businesses uh in the uh in the in the world and i would say it's not just fang you have to add the chinese we own the two big chinese companies we own facebook and um, and Alphabet, which owns, uh, which owns Google, not normally put in the FANG is Microsoft, and it should be in the, uh, the FANG, you know, it, 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 it's, it's the, uh, depending on Apple share price on day, it's the second largest company in the, in the, in the world now, you know, it's $130 odd a share, and we bought it at $22 uh, a share when it was deeply out of favour, maybe it was $24, between 22 and 24, uh, back in 2014. Um, and th there's one other we've, we, 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 we may have bought that we, 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 we will disclose, but we're, we're very disciplined in price. These companies are extraordinary. You know, they, they, they have very powerful what's known as network effects. You know, they, they tend then in almost winner takes all, not Amazon, but most of the others are almost winner takes all markets because of the power of network effects uh, operating here. Of course, that's going to attract uh, regulators are attacking very, very large global markets. And because they're digital goods, effectively, you can attack markets globally uh, with this. They're massively disruptive, like the entire advertising markets moving from sort of all television stations and all newspapers and all sort of other forms of radio advertising, literally just to a few players in the world, which is, which, which is extraordinary and very, very large shares. You know, the, these big cloud platforms, there may be four um, hyperscale players in the world, we're going to move all the computing power of the world and there's going to be so much more data in the world and, and so much more software. You know, software is going to weep the world uh, as, we, as, as we start digitalizing everything. And all this is going to be hosted on maybe four companies' platforms in the future on, a, on a global basis. Perhaps that's a good time to mention regulation. Does that spook you at all? Um, no, we, we expect regulation. Wherever you get a company which has very high market share in an important industry, you have to expect regulators will come in and look, are consumers being protected? And, uh, and what's the, are they shutting our competition from competitors um, uh, in that? So it, 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 is, it is logical for the regulators to come in. But first of all, I would say is, you know, the seven or eight sort of technology companies we own uh, most of them are facing either limited or, or very different technology risks. You know, we own Visa and MasterCard. They've been regulated in the past. They're facing some disruption risk from things like open banking and real-time payments in their debit franchises in the long term. It's kind of not regulated. The regulators are changing the rules to, to open up the, uh, open up the uh, system. Microsoft really isn't facing much regulatory risk. The Chinese companies are deemed as national champions in the payment space. Yes, there's some regulatory risk, but in the e-commerce space, there's very limited regulatory risk. They don't have the same privacy uh, uh, risks. Then you really come down to sort of Alphabet and Facebook. If we owned Apple and, and Amazon, they, they're the four that are really getting caught up with the regulators. We own two of the four. You know, combined, they may be 12% of our portfolio or, or so, and they, 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 they're different risks. Um, we understand the risks. We spend a lot of time speaking uh, to people in Europe and in Washington, including, you know, former chairs of the Federal Trade Commission. We're the ones who, who, who have been investigating Facebook. We're, we spend uh, a lot of time with the Department of Justice. 
um, in trying to understand the, the sort of breakup risk and the, and the other issues going on with, uh, with Alphabet. Um, we speak to politicians in the United States and, and elsewhere, and, we, and it's a very, very public debate that, that, that's happening. So we're unlikely, we will get regulation, but we're unlikely to get surprises of what the boundaries of that regulation uh, uh, could be. And then we look at the price compared to what we think the realistic uh, regulatory intervention is going to be in the cost of that on the business. Any advice in this video is general advice prepared by Morningstar without reference to your financial objectives, situation or needs. You should consider the advice in light of these matters and any relevant product disclosure statement before making any decision to invest.